Okay, part two of this assembled cube exploded presentation drawing IDW IPN all that good stuff. We're going to do a parts list. Basically, we're going to make this. We're going to make these bubbles. We're going to make this parts list. So you can either do your parts list first or your auto balloons. It'll probably just say balloon on yours, but we want to click to auto balloon. So we want to select our view set. Then we want to add or remove components. We want to do all of them. We want to do, here's where, whether you do the parts list first or the balloons first. If you have sub-assemblies, which we don't yet, but you can see my other video where we would, we want to do parts only. Otherwise, the parts list is just going to show the names of your sub-assemblies, not individual parts. So I'm going to click that, and I'm going to select placement. I'm going to go around. So here's horizontal, vertical, select your offset. I'm going to go around. And then I'm going to customize it myself, but just get them close. Now, some of these arrows are nice and logical. That's there, that's there, that's there. These two are not so logical. Now, normally what I would do here is I'd try to move this arrowhead to a more logical spot, but for some reason it's wanting to be a pain and change my arrowhead on me to that. And I have not been able to figure out how to fix that. Certainly didn't have trouble last year. So I'm just going to leave that over there, and I'm going to move the number itself. Same with the three. These numbers will, co will correspond to your parts list. Double click middle mouse button. So now I've got my bubbles, balloons. Now I want to do a parts list. And I'm going to do parts only two. Pretty certain that before, it, once you had it set on one, it wouldn't let you change it, but now it's letting me. So um, select view. And then I'm just going to hit OK. And it's going to let me place it. I'm going to kind of snap it down here. I'll probably have to change it later. You can see how big it's going to be. You can come in here and you can change this to be a more logical width. Got my puzzle piece names. Got something wrong there. Apparently I can't spell. It seems to be going back to the original file name. You can come in here and edit things. Another thing we're going to do is get rid of this description column and add the materials column. So you come over here and click on the column chooser. Click on description. Get out of here. Go find material. And now I've got material and it kind of messes it all up. I'm going to grab this. Notice how your materials are set correctly. Now you're like, oh crap. I didn't make these out of maple. I made these out of solid gold. Well, if you go back to your your puzzle piece, whichever one, or all of them, if they're all made out of gold, and you go up here and you change this from wood maple to solid gold, save it, it updates. Magical. Okay? So... You have to do that for each and every one. You could perhaps even do it in here. Or not. Um, and so you see that your item number one, blue puzzle piece. And that's how we do that.